Well, guys, it happened. The most ridiculous thing that could possibly happen in this whole situation has happened. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. If you're finding me for the very first time and you like the video, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like button because that helps out a lot, especially with this YouTube crazy algorithm that goes on. So, fans, Marvel fans are planning to storm to raid Sony Studios now. No more are we raiding Area 51. No, 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 no. Cooler has prevailed. But did it? Because now, fans, the, these blind Marvel sheep, I never thought I would be on this side of the fence, guys. Never once. You guys know I support Marvel Studios. I support um, pretty much you know, most of what Disney does. I'm not a big fan of Disney, but I do support them on the Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios side. And I never thought I'd be sitting on this side of the fence where I'm just looking at so many mindless marvel fanboys these sheep that do not see the bigger picture that only see headlines and they think that sony is in the wrong and they plan to storm sony these idiots these these group of idiots plan to storm sony studios and demand that they give back spider-man i just want to tell you guys sony never took Spider-Man for Marvel. Sony already owned Spider-Man. Marvel and Disney did not. They came to a contract in which Sony wanted to re-up the contract. Marvel was the one that declined. Sony didn't decline. Marvel and Disney declined because they wanted an asinine amount of money and they wanted full control over the character. Now, why would Sony, in a million years, take the one character... The one character, the only real big franchise that's successful for Sony, every other franchise they have pretty much failed other than Spider-Man and Spider-Man related properties, whether it be Venom, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, or Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming. These are successful properties. Even the Spider-Man films you guys don't like still make Sony a lot of money. So why would they say, here, we're going to give you 50% and you have complete control over this character now? And not only... Will Disney have complete control over Spider-Man? No, 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 no. They have complete control over all the spin-off movies. We're talking about Into the Spider-Verse, which won an Oscar for Best Animated Film last year. We're talking about Venom that made a bajillion, like, bajillion amount of money, right? Like, truckloads of money, a bajillion dollars. No, 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 no. Disney's going to have full control over that. Disney is basically going in their house and robbing Sony blind. And Sony's like, I, I, I can't accept this. And so many people are like, well, Sony didn't even try. Sony came back with a counter offer. Like, look, we'll do 70-30. We'll give you 30% of the profit. That's more, more than fair. More than fair. But nope, these, these loyal, blind stupidity of these fans just drive me insane because these these Marvel sheep, these Marvel fanboys are planning to boycott and storm and raid Sony Studios because they want Spider-Man back in the MCU. But they refuse to look at the bigger picture. I don't care if you tell me Tom Holland and Zendaya sat there and unfollowed Sony from Instagram. Well, with all due respect, they are actors. Who, who the fuck cares? They are actors that get paid to do a movie. Guess what? He's in our contract. He's got to do it anyway. So I, I don't care if they unfollow Sony on Instagram. What do they know behind the scenes? Really, they get paid to come and act. You know, even Stan Lee's daughter came out and said, yes, yeah, Stan probably would have sided with Sony. There's no way he would want Disney to have full control over Spider-Man. Th that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's like me buying a brand new car. And, and my friend buying the wheels and then somehow manages to take full control of the title of my car. It's ridiculous, people. And these, these blind Marvel sheep, I never thought I would stand on this side of the fence. These blind Marvel sheep are just looking at one side of the story and they're not looking at the whole picture. You are not seeing the bigger picture here, people. You are not seeing it. I, I wish more people would, would open up their eyes. But you get those those twinkle toe cocksuckers out there, those, those little fucking idiots out there that like Marvel's the best. Oh, we got we got to suck that Marvel cock. You know, like I love Marvel as much as the next guy. I'm sporting this Black Panther shirt until it eventually just you know wears off me. I love I love the Marvel MCU movies. 
But what's right is right. Disney cannot sit there and be the bully to this other company. Because that's what Disney's doing. They are 100% being a bully and pushing Sony Studios around and trying to get them to submit to what they want. So they would relinquish their control over their character and give it to the this giant bully evil corporation that is Disney. And people plan on storming Sony. Maybe people need to take a good look and what the real facts are behind this story before they decide to go do that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that. A lot more to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to do separate videos on the Stan Lee thing and, and Tom Holland Instagram stuff. I'm going to do uh, separate videos on that. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about this situation? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.